Uh, well, hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Joe Karhajic. I'm the Global Partner Director for the Cognite Microsoft Relationship. Really excited to introduce you to Jason Chern, who is the field CTO for Cognite. Uh, he's got a great story about how our partnership is working together uh, with a Cognite data fusion solution that runs on the Azure platform and some of the really interesting things we're doing and can do for you uh, to really democratize and gain access to the data, that industrial data that's running with our large energy and manufacturing customers. So it's a really cool story. Uh, Cognite is one of our strategic partners in manufacturing and in energy. And so I'll turn it over to Jason to really tell this story. So Jason, over to you. All right, thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. It's been great working with you and the team. So uh, by way of introduction, uh, my name is Jason Shern. I'm the field CTO for Cognite. Cognite is an industrial software company. We're a global company that is providing simple access to complex industrial data across the energy, chemical and process manufacturing, and power renewable sectors of the economy. And we've been partnered with Microsoft for quite a while now, and it's been a great opportunity for us to work with Microsoft together to enable this simple access to complex industrial data uh, for all of our customers today. So I'd like to start by just highlighting the challenges that we face in these sectors. And in heavy asset industries like energy, chemical manufacturing, and power renewables, there's a couple of very unique challenges that uh, these companies face. Number one, the data in these industries is incredibly diverse. It's not simple structured data. There is structured data like asset hierarchies or work orders, but there's also a tremendous amount of unstructured data as well, which comes in the form of engineering documents that are typically consumed as PDFs that are static. Uh, there's a lot of technical documentation for equipment. And then there's a tremendous amount of what we call time series data, which is the data coming from sensors. So this is information providing vibration or temperature or pressure status on equipment operating these highly complex uh, facilities. And this time series data is very simple. It's simply a timestamp and a value, but sometimes it could be trillions of rows of this data. And so if you look at the challenge in this space, people will often say, hey, I have a hard time accessing the data that I need to make decisions or to perform my tasks because the data is so siloed. And I love and I hate that description for two reasons. I love it because it's pretty accurate. It's, it is siloed. The diversity of the data forces different ways to store, aggregate, and search if you want to have interactive level performance with this data. The reason I dislike that description is because it infers a solution. By saying that it's siloed, it kind of infers that if I just unsilo it, that somehow I've resolved these challenges of accessing the data. And the reason that that does not end up being the case is for the second challenge that you see here, which is the data that resides in all of these different very diverse data types almost never matches. And that is something pretty unique to the heavy asset industry. So the, in this example that you see here, the, the name of this tank, uh, in an asset hierarchy is going to end up being different than the reference to that tank in the time series data. It'll probably show up as a different reference in the engineering and schematics, which are called PNIDs uh, for these facilities. And it might even be different than the actual placard itself that exists on the, the equipment, which you would see from an image or a video or a 3D scan of the facility. And so that makes it really challenging to be able to connect all of this data together. It's very challenging to do this in the traditional sense where I would use large databases that bring all of it together and I simply link them together in a join. Because the data doesn't match, it's unjoinable this way. And so what we do at Cognite is not only do we ingest this highly diverse data and store it and manage it in very optimized ways, we use machine learning algorithms and other tools combined with a lot of domain knowledge and expertise to find the relationships between the data, and then we persist it. We find those relationships, we save them, and then through those saved relationships, we start to build out a knowledge graph. And that knowledge graph becomes a way for all of us to navigate the data seamlessly. So that even though the data is diverse, 
even though the data doesn't match. This process of finding the relationships and persisting those relationships into the knowledge graph enriches the data. And that data enrichment is something that we call contextualization. And through that enrichment, I now have the ability to have very simple access to this complex data. I could, for example, say, I would like to see all of the data for these four sensors for the last year. And I would like to combine that with work orders in the last month and any events that were thrown in the last week, along with the technical schematics for this equipment. That simple request would allow me to find all of that information instantly. And in most cases, sub-second level reaction to that data. And so that gives me interactive level user performance in accessing what is normally super complex, highly diverse, and siloed data that normally would take a lot of time to be able to navigate and find. When you can do that, that helps us power some contextualization that drives deterministic responses from artificial intelligence. It lets us populate these data models in a way that makes it easy for us to share this data across domains and across sites. And it also allows us to take these deployments of solutions and deploy them at scale. And I call that value scaling, which is a solution built using the knowledge graph for one site, one set of equipment can now lift and shift and move to another site, another set of equipment and still work because it's working with the knowledge graph and not with those direct underlying diverse data sources directly. And this is really revolutionary for industry to be able to provide that level of simple access to diverse data at scale at interactive level user performances is a pretty exciting opportunity for supporting root cause analysis, uh, turnaround planning where you're planning for shutdowns and being able to perform maintenance. It helps with predictive maintenance, operator rounds, and a lot of um, domain specific, highly industrial use cases that require that simple access at interactive level user performance. And so this is a good illustration of what that looks and feels like for real. What you see on the left is what typically happens today. Uh, a maintenance engineer or a field operator will have some task that they need to perform or an analyst will have some type of uh, predictive analytics work that they need to execute for the day. And it usually starts with them looking up information about that equipment in engineering specifications and documents, which are called PNIDs. It's, think of it as the CAD schematics for a platform or a chemical site or a unit. And from that schematic, they can identify the equipment that they're interested in and any time series or sensor data that might be relevant to what they're investigating or the tasks that they're about to perform. And with that information, they can go to another system, a historian, to find that time series data, uh, gather that and, and, and bring it together to be able to start analyzing the, the recent performance of that equipment. And then they'll go and they'll look at technical documents and specifications. They'll collect information about recent work orders that may have been completed or outstanding. And they'll gather information about events or alarms that may have been thrown. Almost all of those are in different systems. They're in different um, areas that need to be collected. Some of it's digital, some of it's paper-based. And once they gather all of that information together, then they can do the analysis that they need to do to perform their task. That's what typically happens today on the left. And you can think of that as human-based contextualization. It happens every day at every facility by literally hundreds and thousands of industrial workers. What you see on the right is what happens when you have that knowledge graph. So when you've enriched the data to find the relationships between them and you've persisted it into the knowledge graph, I now have the ability to see all of that data together. And so what you see here on the right is something that uh, is part of Cognite Data Fusion called the Industrial Canvas. And the Industrial Canvas allows us to take this highly diverse data, bring it in through those relationships of the knowledge graph and view it together in one place. And so you can think of this as a way that a maintenance engineer or somebody performing root cause analysis would be able to grab the engineering schematics, the time series data, information about work orders, alarms, events, 3D information about the site, and bring that all together in one place to perform analysis and collaborate with other workers to make decisions about the business and the tasks that they need to perform. And that value scaling that I talk about is illustrated here in a very simple way, which is when you're working with the knowledge graph, 
and not directly with those underlying data systems, something like this industrial canvas works for everybody. So this will work from site to site and from unit to unit and from facility to facility and from customer to customer in the same way, because we're accessing that data in a similar way through the knowledge graph so it understands those underlying relationships. This is revolutionary for many of our customers. One of our customers in Japan, uh, we were talking with the plant manager at the largest oil refinery in Japan, and he, and he had 800 engineers who were working you know, across three different shifts. And those engineers at the beginning of every shift would spend probably two to three hours performing what we see on the left. That sort of human contextualization to gather information, to plan out the work that they need to do for that day. And after they had that knowledge graph of enriched data, through contextualization and we're able to gather and find and see that data quickly, as you see here on the right, that reduced that time down from two hours down to you know 15 to 30 minutes. And that means that you're getting riches on task an hour and a half sooner. You're getting production uptime uh, an hour and a half sooner. And all of those have very real impacts upon efficiency and production scale across the enterprise. Now, What's really exciting as we work with Microsoft is this enriched data set is not something that's just used by industrial users. It's something that our enterprise users have been wanting to have access to in a more simple way for a long time. Our inability to join that data in simple ways has limited their ability to uh, utilize this data at scale. But through our partnership with Microsoft, we're now having the ability to take that enriched data set and expose it through Microsoft Fabric to the enterprise. And so take that uh, super valuable knowledge graph and now make it viewable through the window of Fabric. And that's going to allow us to continue to serve our industrial operations uh, with these domain specific uh, solutions that address their daily work. And it's also going to allow that data to be extended out to a broader audience throughout the enterprise and extended out to a broader set of data in Microsoft Fabric. So finance data, supply chain data, and other information is going to be able to be leveraged by these company analysts to be combined with engineering and operational data to perform analysis and data set uh, expansion across the enterprise. And we're finding this is becoming an increasingly important capability, especially in an industry where a lot of the domain expertise is aging out and, and a new generation is having to come in that might not have the same level of knowledge and expertise that came through the experience of these knowledge workers. And by being able to expose this operational engineering and heavily focused industrial data across the enterprise, we now open this data up to the broader set of users through Power BI, Power Apps, Copilot and other through Microsoft Fabric. And so this is what this looks like. Uh, if you look at a sort of uh, simplified reference architecture, we have the ability to take the Cognite Data Fusion SaaS platform, which you see up above, and ingest this operational industrial data from direct from data sources um, at the source, but also be able to ingest data that is coming directly from Microsoft Fabric to perform that enrichment step to be able to contextualize that data, to build those meaningful relationships between that diverse data, and then build out that knowledge graph. And from that knowledge graph, be able to provide very critical user experiences to our industrial workers through infield for operator rounds, that industrial canvas that I showed you earlier to support root cause analysis and turnaround planning, and other very powerful tools that are used uh, for industrial use cases across our customer base. Now, what's exciting is Fabric has enabled us with the ability to take that enriched data set and through a mechanism called the Fabric Shortcut, be able to give you a window to that data from Microsoft Fabric itself. So from within Fabric, I would be able to see that enriched data set of the knowledge graph and combine that with all of the rich tools that are available to me in Fabric, like Power BI, Power Apps, and the Copilot, to then combine that enriched data set with other data sources from supply chain finance and other um, critical data sets within Microsoft Fabric to enable broader enterprise use cases that until now have struggled to be able to be realized 
at scale from site to site because that industrial data is so difficult to a find store manage but more importantly be able to link together into that knowledge graph and so that knowledge graph is now available in a broader sense across the enterprise a really great example of this is something that is going on right now with one of our leading customers Ocker bp so Ocker bp is a leading energy solution provider uh, based out of norway they're uh, a very great customer of Microsoft's in addition to Cognite's. And we've been working together with Microsoft at Ocker BP to enable that vision that I just described, where we already have a lot of the operational and engineering and industrial data in Cognite Data Fusion for Ocker BP, enabling a broad range of industrial use cases throughout the enterprise. And Ocker BP is also fully committed to Microsoft Fabric to bring in the rest of that uh, enterprise-wide uh, enterprise data um, into their business in a way that is allowing them to scale value of that data more broadly. And so this ability through the Fabric shortcut is enabling Ocker BP to enable use cases that require not only this contextualized enriched data set of the knowledge graph that you can get from Cognite Data Fusion, but is also combining that with finance and supply chain and other data sources to enable performance onboarding, some low code, no code environments for developing power app solutions, and then being able to support industry standards and tools that require industrial data, but go beyond industrial data as well. And so we're super excited about the work that we've done so far with Ocker BP and Microsoft, and we'll be continuing to work with the Microsoft product team to further enable this integration uh, in Ocker BP and then be able to share this and repeat this integration across all of our joint customers. So a great example of this that we're working on today is uh, methane emissions reporting. So this is a really good example of a use case where new rules are being written that require methane emissions to be reported in a more consolidated way. And reporting those emissions requires that enriched connected contextualized data that comes from CDF for both operational and engineering data, but it also requires information that comes from finance and supply chain, supply chain and other sources. And so through this partnership with Microsoft, we're able to take this enriched data set coming from the industrial uh, domains, including um, time series data of the actual um, operating conditions of a facility along with uh, engineering in other data sets and combine that with finance and uh, other reporting tools inside Microsoft Fabric to be able to provide a comprehensive reporting structure for, uh, uh, for achieving the compliance requirements of the methane emissions reporting uh, tools and, and requirements that are coming on board today. And so we're really excited about the ability to be able to combine the strengths and the power of Cognite Data Fusion with the strengths and the power that we get uh, from Microsoft Fabric to bring those together in a way that is enabling our customers to more easily meet these requirements that are now being uh, placed upon uh, our heavy asset industrial customers, particularly in the engineering sector. So we suspect that you have further questions that you would like to learn more about what is going on here, and we would love to get in touch with you. So as a next step, uh, I've got a, a QR code here that you can use to find more information about how Fabric and Cognite Data Fusion can help drive success for you. You can email us at partners at cognite.com and uh, we'd love to work with you and help you understand how you can combine the power of the simple access to complex industrial data that we get through the knowledge graph with the broad expanse of the impact that you get from being able to share that more broadly with Fabric across your enterprise. But uh, thank you for giving us the opportunity to share this with you today. And I think that the, the value that we can scale together is pretty remarkable. Okay, well, thank you for giving us the opportunity to uh, share these exciting developments with you. We're excited about our partnership with Microsoft and what this is enabling for our customers. And mo most importantly, we're really excited about the way simple access to complex data is going to be spread further across the enterprise. So thank you for your time. And again, if you have any questions or follows, we'd love to talk.